Howdy there, folks. My name's Stephen Bresnall, and today I'm calling out Mr. Pursuit of Accuracy. That's right, a fellow gun tuber who specializes in NRL and NRLX competitions and 22 long rifle rimfire review videos. And he's a CZ fanboy, and I got to admit, I don't necessarily have anything against CZ, but I got a CZ 457 and it really hasn't been shooting all that good um, so far. And I've been kind of under impressed with the trigger. And well, I was talking to him the other day and I have this very cheap, in fact, this is the cheapest garbagest 22 long rifle I own. In fact, of any rifle I own, that's a, a Savage Mark II. It's not even the suppressor ready version. and. I bought this thing, comes with a chintzy synthetic stock, uh, did come with the AccuTrigger, and basically I have a bunch of videos on this thing, but I took it, I rattle can paint jobbed it, did a cut the spring, did a trigger job on the spring, don't recommend that, threw $20 or $15, $20 rings on it, threw a free uh, scope I received um, that retails for like 45 bucks on Amazon, but the, the seller sent it to me for free from Amazon. It's a three to tw or four to 12 by three to 12 by 40 scope um, made in China. The glass, it's mine, probably not even glass. It's probably plastic. Um, and these rings have the 30 millimeter insert in them. They're not even 30 millimeter rings uh, uh, unless you have an insert in the ring itself. Uh, a CV Life bipod on this thing. I mean, this thing is a spectacle of, of trash. And I even have a rubber bolt knob on here. I mean, come on, this, this thing in total, because I got it on sale with everything is like 200 bucks. All right, and I'm shooting some Savage standard velocity 22 long rifle target ammunition. This is the CCI factory ammunition. So pursuit of accuracy, if you're a real man and you're gonna test your CZ457 against this with all your customizations, at least maybe make it a little bit more fair and use some CCI standard velocity ammunition uh, while you're shooting it. We're gonna be shooting groups at 100 yards here. I'm about at 4,000 uh, uh, 4, feet elevation. We got about a variable crosswind of about one to five miles an hour today. And I believe it's probably about, oh, maybe 65 degrees, 60 degrees, probably 60 degrees out. Um, I haven't shot this thing in three or four years, okay? Um, I did put epoxy um, and steel BBs in the forend of this to make it a little bit heavier. I used a Dremel and Dremeled out the barrel channel to free float the barrel. Um, like I said, this thing is a spectacle. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, I don't even remember how to release the mag in this thing anymore. It's been so long. There we go. Um, since I'm, I'm making the rules here, we aren't looking for point of impact. We don't care about point of impact. We, we're gonna, it's gonna be all about group size. Cause I don't even know <laughs> if this, uh, zero is, is an inch off or three inches off at a hundred. I have no idea. So just a cheap front bag, nothing special. Remember this scope? Wow, the reticle, the tensions on this scope, the lines are so thick. And this is only a 12 power scope. So I'm just gonna have to aim and hope I'm aiming in the same spot every time. Edge distortion, chromatic aberration. It's a great scope, guys. I'm not used to shooting these little sissy cartridges, these little sissy bullets. In fact, at one point, I think I went three or four years without even shooting a 22 at all. Um, I'm used to shooting real man, real man cartridges, shooting a real load, you know, like 300 PRC or something like that. 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag. Hold that one. That one felt good. Ooh, hold that one. That wind's definitely pulling them left. That wind just picked up big time on that. Ooh, hold that one.
That looks like a, a good group there. I feel like I'm getting better with age, man. Just getting getting sweeter with age. Actually, Pursuit of Accuracy is a great guy. Fantastic shooter. Amazing channel. It's too bad he doesn't shoot like real calibers though, but still, I don't care. I don't actually, I think I, I'm pretty sure I have this scope like bottomed out. And these are the original bases that came with the Savage rifle too, by the way. That's not like 20 M away or anything like so I'm pretty this scope, I don't even know if it has more travel. I think that's why I actually stopped it where it is. Hold that one just a touch. Oh, why did that happen? It ruined my group. Ooh, got a little right to left spread there going on. Wind is blowing at picked up. It's about five. So we got a steady right to left wind right now, about five miles an hour. That one felt bad. Look at Ooh, that was low. Ooh, can't tell how good or bad that group is. That's it. So, show me what you can do. Show, show me what you can do. Pursuit of accuracy.